Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel, and I have a headache. Also, I am not apologizing for the giant fan that you might hear over this microphone that is behind me in the window, because it is hot here. It is well into the 90s, and I'm uh, not sitting here with no form of air conditioning whatsoever. So... I was talking to a friend today, and this friend also happened to be the previous owner of the car that I drive, the 2012 Golf R. I asked him, what is one modification to the car you wish you would have done before selling it? And he told me a Haldex controller. And for a lot of you guys that might not know about the Mark VI uh, Golf Rs, they have what's called an all a Haldex all-wheel drive system. And you can buy Haldex controllers that will allow you to basically control um, how much power goes to your back wheels, how much torque goes to the back wheels. And I don't know what it is stock, but the way that it works stock is it's basically disengaged until it feels like the car is sliding out or losing control. Or if it feels like it's stuck, then it engages. So basically when um, traction control turns on, it turns on. But you can buy Haldex controllers that will give all the way up to a 50-50 split ratio of front wheel and rear wheel drive. And then you have true all wheel drive. So I started looking and I found one that I really liked from these guys. And it's a pretty good price. It's a nice Haldex controller that allows you to do exactly what I wanted. And it's app-based. You know, what could be cooler than that? You get an app from the Google Play Store, and you go for it. Well, this app is shit. Do not buy this Haldex controller. The app was created probably for the cheapest of the cheap, and just not worth doing. And a lot of people have... I've reached out a lot in the groups and spoken about you know, security issues with these car parts and stuff like that. And it seems like a lot of people don't take me seriously because a lot of people spout that they're quote-unquote hackers. I've never claimed to be a hacker. I've claimed to be a hobbyist that just likes to go in and figure out how protected I am if I use your product, I guess is the best way to put it. I have already let the company know um, about this. That's also why you don't see URLs on the screen. Um... And if one is going to end up getting shown, I will probably... It shouldn't need to, because I have two screens up. But if one ends up getting shown, then whatever. So, basically, what I've discovered is every single URL in their application that ends in .php, question mark, any kind of parameter, is exploitable. And you can dump the entire company database. Literally, the entire company database. I know this is hard to see because my background is white and it's kind of opaque. Um, oh, you guys might have seen the URL. That's fine. Whatever. Um, that's only just one of them. And what this basically is, is this is SQL map. SQL map has what's called a wizard built into it if you're a lazy ass like I am. And it automatically runs and dumps a database for you. And this is proof of concept. This has been running for about an hour now, dumping the entire company's database. Simply because their application is coded like shit. And they probably hired a 12-year-old to make it. So, we're going to get that off the screen. And I'm going to show you guys just some examples. So, this is one URL from the uh, application. And... I don't know how much you guys know about... Oh, you guys saw it. That's okay. I don't know how much you guys know about SQL injection, but it's very easy. A lot of people don't realize how easy it is. So, obviously, this doesn't work. I'm saying that right up, right up front, right off the top. This does not work. This is an example. So, we're going to do google.com slash, let's say, news.php question mark action equals load article and ID equals 
69 because I always got to sneak the number in there somewhere, right? Anyway, so what you're looking at right here is your basic form of how PHP works in some, in most situations. What you can do to test and see if a page is exploitable with SQL injection is simply place an apostrophe. That's all you need. And then you'll get an error on your screen that um, looks like that if you do it right. So as you can see, um, I placed an apostrophe after serial equals one and there is an error on the MariaDB server version for the right syntax use of one near line three, which basically means that there is an error in the PHP code and it's not stripping out the apostrophe because the apostrophe breaks SQL injection. This is also another error in the same URL. Oh, and let's not even, you know, get into the fact that if I break the code in on another URL I found in the app, I get entire access to the database right on screen. Hold on a second. With this information, I'm able to dump the entire database, get all customer information, um, get all the information for not only this app, but every app the company's ever made because everything is housed into one server. They are incredibly lazy. I don't yet know for sure how much of the server is plain text. Although I can tell you from watching the downloading of the database, a lot of it. And I'm not the kind of person that, you know, screams from the rooftop, oh, I'm gonna hold this for ransom and hide myself. No, I'm gonna help. I'm going to offer to help. I'm going to let you know about it because that's what I do. But so like here's for example, whoever's Haldex this is. This is their throttle control for racing. I can go to edit. And if they ever want to update this or use this ever, I can actually update this map name and change it to whatever I want. And then they're, they'll have to go back in and change this because it loads from their server. So I could go like zero update and suddenly now it's different I can even just completely remove it and go update I can actually like physically click and see the data points and stuff like that I can go home see the actual editor here I can go back and get to where it was actually exploitable. Oh god, you guys can see the whole URL. That is not what I wanted. So that's not exploitable. But And even then, this is one that I put in. That one was put in here by me. Click 6, update. Okay, so the update doesn't seem to work, but I can actually add new data. So let's say serial HDC 69 map type map map name ha add. I just added a map to their database and now I can go in and I can edit it. I can change it on the back end with these buttons on screen don't even need their app and then I would be able to load this up in the application it's positively stupid how exploitable this company is this is why I say be careful with what you buy because you never know if something's going to be exploitable you never know how much of your data or how lazy a company is and I've already proven this and shown examples in the different groups I'm a part of for other companies that I'm not going to out here myself because that's just rude. I've already seen other companies basically, oh wow, that one's just broken, but I've already seen other companies just also not have any care in the world about this. I don't need Cheat Engine open anymore. I don't know why it still is. 
and they just still let this happen. And there's a couple different companies that I've been following as far as just this car alone is concerned. All of them have had an exploit in one way or another that is, you know, I always like to say I'm a hobbyist. And if somebody like me that's a hobbyist can crack it, imagine what somebody that actually has experience can do with this stuff. Because that's what's scary about it. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys maybe learned something from this video. And I'll talk to you later. Peace out.